Hey guys, welcome back to Bunny Car. Today we are going to talk about another interesting aquarium plant which is Pelea moss. It is a wonderful terrestrial plant that loves to grow in moist and shady places. Pelea moss is a leaverwort and does not have leaves. The green part of this plant though looks like leaves is technically thallus. It is this thallus that divides into fork-like branches giving bushy and cushion formed growth. Pelea moss is little heavier than water which is why on the contrary to other mosses it sinks at the bottom of the tank and stays there. It gives very attractive cushiony look to the bottom of the tank. The only downside of Pelea moss is it is pretty delicate and while introducing it to the tank for the first time or while attaching it to the driftwood stone or any other aquarium decor it could become a little messy. You can start it by attaching it with a nylon line to a stone. Small sprays can be scattered between other plants such as elocaris that will prevent the moss from being carried about in the aquarium by fish or water circulation. The moss can grow well in nearly any environment. It will typically grow in bush-like shapes and produces leaves that look similar to the horns of a stag. The rich and potent green gives it a very fresh and natural look that can spruce up any tank. With Pelea moss, you have to be a little more careful as mechanical maneuvering may fall apart this moss. But there is one benefit of it as well that every part will start growing separately. Attach it with any aquarium decor or stone or just let it sink at the bottom and let it flourish. The moss is a slow grower. Since it resides at the bottom, it hardly bothers the fish. However, if you have bottom dwellers like catfish or placos, Pelea moss could be a problem as the movement of these fish may damage the moss. However, if you have shrimps or tetras, Pelea moss provides a good hiding space to their little ones. Now, if you are concerned about water parameters, keep them aside as Pelea moss can thrive well in any water condition. The temperature may range from 15 to 24 degrees and pH may vary from 5 to 8. I would recommend all the aquarists out there to try this amazing moss as they are easy to care. So if you want to have pelea moss in your aquarium, all you need is to think about the inhabitants so that the plant remain fine. To get healthy plantlets of pelea moss, you can order it from Bunny Cart. So this is all about pelea moss which is an amazing plant. for any aquarium see you next time with another interesting aquarium plant till then bye bye take care